everyone. How are you today? I hope you are having a good day and in a good health. Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Andromeda Juan Ramanitia and I'm from SMN Negeri Satu Kasian. Today, I will tell you a story and puzzle, Batu Menangis. So yeah, please listen to me carefully. Once upon a time, in the small village in the Borneo Island, there lived a mother and her daughter. The daughter was probably popular among the villagers because of her beautiful face. But she has bad behavior. She never helped her mother to fulfill their daily needs. She was a lazy girl. Every day, she's always spending her time to the front of the mirror, admiring her beautiful face. And she's always made her mother sad. And her name is Darmi. One time in the afternoon, Darmi wants a new makeup. So she asked to her mom. But the mom refused it because she had no money. Because of her love, she finally bought Darmi a new makeup. But once, Darmi must go with her to the market. On the street, so many people passing and asking about the woman behind Darmi. Hello Darmi, where you want to go? And who is the woman behind you? Is that your mother? Oh, hi, I want to go to the market. And what did you just say? No, it's not my mother, it's my servant. The mother was shocked after I heard that. She can realize that the daughter said that in the front of her. She wants to cry, but she kept it. Inside her deep heart, she prayed to God to punish her daughter. So many people asking, and the answer was saved. But this time, the mother cannot hold her tears anymore. So she starts crying and praying to God to punish her. And after she is praying, suddenly, Darmi legs cannot move. And she was shocked. And she, and she screamed. And slowly, Darmi legs turned into stone. And she start, and she realized it, that it was because of her fault. And she was apologized to her mom and begging to apologize. But it was too late. The dummy body is, was also turned into a stone. But the tears were still thick. So that's why the stone called Batu Menangis. So yeah, the moral of the story is never hurt your parents' feelings. So yeah, that's all the story.